It begins at Hayden High School. Our guy, Mike, is throwing balls into a basket. Just a few seconds later, his coach comes in, reminding him of an upcoming game that can get Mike a scholarship. The team is about to start training, but Mike mentions a missing kid, Ned, who is also part of the team. Once Ned arrives, the team begins taking a photo. The scene shifts to the cheerleaders, dancing before the game. Even Mike joins them. As soon as Mike and the girls finish, he goes up to his girlfriend, Scarlett. He notices her hiding something, and as the camera moves away from them, she reveals something to Mike that immediately terrifies him. Thinking about what Scarlett told him, he can't focus on the game, which ultimately causes him to drop the ball and go after his girlfriend. It looks like Mike is ready to give up on his career, only to become a father to his child. After all these flashbacks, Mike wakes up and goes for a coffee. In the present, he discusses with the same kid, Ned, how awful his days are going and that he got kicked out of the house by his girlfriend. Despite this, Ned still mentions Mike's upcoming promotion. At his office, Mike's boss decides to promote a girl who has been there for just a few months instead of rewarding Mike's decade of loyalty. Seeking answers, Mike hears only excuses and decides to quit. Later, Mike returns to his old high school and, seeing a basketball, recalls memories of his old days. A few moments later, an old man approaches him, mentions key moments of Mike's life, and asks Mike if he wants to relive his glorious days, prompting Mike to say yes. They are then interrupted by his daughter, who is confused about what he is doing at the school. Mike explains that he was talking to a man right there, pointing into the air. He then proposes to get ice cream with his daughter and son. During their quality family time, the kids share their accomplishments and hint that they don't want to talk much. After that, they return to the house and find Scarlett destroying their yard. They immediately begin discussing their bad experiences in marriage, their impending divorce, and what Mike could have become if he hadn't married her. Scarlett's friend talks about getting Scarlett back on the market as a single mom. They say their goodbyes, and Mike drives off in the rain. He sees a man trying to jump off a bridge, gets out of the car, and tries to stop him. The same old man from before smiles at Mike and disappears. Mike approaches the edge and sees his younger self in a vortex reflection, which immediately sucks him in. After all that stuff, Mike returns home in his dirty suit and realizes that he has become young. Ned hears Mike screaming and, with an axe in his hands, tries to stop the thief. Not realizing it is Mike, Ned gets into a fight with him, during which Mike tries to convince Ned that it's his friend. Almost ready to knock Mike out, Ned sees young Mike's picture and realizes that it's Mike, but still knocks him out, just in case. After the intense fight, Ned sits staring at Mike. He interrogates Mike, thinking he is some kind of vampire or something else. At the same time, Mike remembers the janitor from before and concludes that he is definitely related somehow to what happened. Mike immediately goes to his high school, asking everyone if they have seen the janitor. He can't find the old man and, not knowing what to do next, sees the basketball team training. Wishing to share his discoveries with Ned, Mike goes to him and explains that he has got a chance to win back his life and do something for himself for the first time in a long while. As Mike finishes explaining the plan, Ned without hesitation refuses to go to their old high school. Later, we see Ned standing next to Mike, mentioning that he hates Mike. They play a father and son game, where Ned is the dad who has come to enroll his son, Mike, into the high school. In the principal's office, Ned meets a cute lady, causing the camera to move in slow motion and a fan to appear from nowhere, blowing onto the woman. She decides to accept Mike into the high school, and Ned, definitely knowing it's a good idea at the moment, makes a few embarrassing attempts at flirting with her. In the hall, they realize that Mike's outfit doesn't really work anymore and proceed to go shopping. Mike returns to the school, and everyone notices him. He manages to get lost a bit during a break but finds his way to the class. As Scarlett calls Mike, reminding him of the ongoing divorce process, Mike notices his daughter, Maggie, attending the same class and weirdly waves at her. Next, he shows his great shape by throwing balls into a basket. His old coach notices him, comes up to him, mentions Mike's skills, and offers him a position on the team. In the bathroom, Mike calls Ned, sharing the news about being accepted on the team. As he uses the urinal, Mike notices his son, Alex, tied up to a toilet. Alex admits that the basketball team put him in this position. In the cafeteria, Mike tells Alex that he's Ned's son and that their parents told them to look out for each other. A few seconds later, Mike notices Alex glancing at a girl, prompting him to interrogate Alex about her. It turns out she is the head cheerleader in Alex's crush. Mike then has an embarrassing moment as he tries to give an example of how he met Alex's mom. Later, Stan, a dude from the basketball team, walks in. 
he turns out to be the one who tied Alex up in the bathroom and is also Maggie's boyfriend. Because Mike makes eye contact with Stan, he comes over to their table and starts bullying Alex. Mike stands up for his son, both literally and metaphorically, and begins mocking and humiliating the bully in front of everyone around them, doing this very well. At his and Ned's place, Mike eats a lot. Ned asks Mike about his day at school, and Mike immediately brags about being a bad dad after learning what his kids have been up to at school this whole time. Mike decides to take action and help his kids. In the backyard, Mike sees Alex and discovers that he's great at handling balls. Mike comes up with an idea to get Alex on the team, but a second later, Scarlett arrives, prompting Alex to introduce Mike to her as Ned's son. She recognizes her young husband in this young man. While Scarlett and her friend discuss that she needs to hook up with someone new, Mike gets a little jealous. At school there is a quite fascinating class going on that's called sex education. School's policy declares that teenagers must be protected from now on and the teacher gives everyone protection. Mike, giving speech on how sex is about making love to each other, and later a baby, convinces his classmates to not get protection, as they won't need it until they find a true love. The bully dude gets excited as every bit of protection is now his, and after kisses Maggie, prompting Mike to start a fight with the dude. By the look of it, Mike has obviously won, and now his parents must go to the principal's office to discuss the incident. In the morning, Mike goes to talk with his wife. She shows him what she's done with the backyard, leaving Mike speechless. Unwillingly, he calls her Scar, which causes her to mention that her husband is the only one who used to call her that. To get away from this moment, Mike offers to help in the yard for a price. Scarlett immediately remarks that she is not interested in all these mom I would like to face high school things, but still accepts his help after Mike tells her that he didn't mean it like that. Later, Mike trains Alex, helps Scarlett in the yard, disturbs Maggie's kiss, Ned gives a small present to the principal, Mike trains Alex again, and so on. In the evening, Alex brings wonderful news to his mom, he has gotten onto the team. She also reveals what she has done in the yard with the lighting. As Mike congratulates her on the work she has done, she says that she has a dancing date, worrying that she is a bad dancer, but Mike states otherwise, blowing his cover again. Inside the house, Mike finds Scarlett dancing and asks her to teach him some moves. As they are almost about to kiss, Alex interrupts them, saying that her date has arrived. As Scarlett gets flowers from the guy, Mike mocks him, creating an uncomfortable situation. Seeing that everyone is going somewhere this evening, Mike calls Alex. A bit later, they arrive at a high school party. There, some events lead Alex to talk to his crush and Mike to teach the girls some respect, and Maggie a few lessons. On a date at her old high school, Scarlett remembers how her husband proposed to her right there. Mike makes some points and passes the last ball to Alex, who manages to bring victory to the team. After the game, Ned finally gets the principal to go on a date with him, like friends of course. Since Ned's not going to be around for some time, Mike invites everyone to Ned's house to celebrate the victory. He then finds Maggie, who is crying about being dumped by the bully. Mike cheers her up, saying that one day she will meet her man, and invites her to the party as well. Trying to impress his date, Ned manages to find common ground with her. At the party, the bully tries to get Maggie back but is promptly kicked out by Mike, though not literally. Later, Mike is woken up by Maggie, who is trying to make out with him. When she accuses him of being gay, he immediately explains that they can't be together, adding that he's been in love with another girl for 17 years. Meanwhile, after chatting in Elvish, the principal asks Ned which house they should go to. Quite smooth. As they arrive at the house, she kicks everyone out to clean up the space, presumably. At the same time, Mike shows Scarlett that Alex already has a girlfriend. He goes for a kiss and gets slapped, unfortunately. As Scarlett walks away, Mike explains that he is her husband and later gets slapped by Maggie, as well as others. As Ned's date is disrupted by Mike, Ned slaps him, hugs him, and slaps him again, just in case. In the morning, despite Ned's remark that Mike has already helped his family a lot and they might not need him anymore, Mike still decides to win his family back, prompting them to hop in the car. Later, they arrive at the court. As they are both being dragged away, Mike shows a letter from Scarlett's husband, himself, that he would like to read aloud on his behalf. Although the judge is initially dismissive, Scarlett asks to hear him out. Reading the letter, Mike reminisces about how he and Scarlett met, mentioning details that the young man standing before Scarlett couldn't possibly know. Mike admits his mistakes in blaming her for his every failure and expresses his love. He understands that if he truly loves her, he has to let her go. Finishing the letter, he leaves it in the court. Scarlett decides to postpone the trial, retrieves the letter, and sees that it's just the court address with nothing else. 
After all that, Mike says that it's time for him to move on. Scarlett finds his goodbye letter to her, and he starts practicing for a game that will get him a college scholarship. Maggie and Scarlett arrive at the game. Ned arrives as well, with his invisibility cloak, seizing the opportunity to connect with the principal, who responds that her dungeon is his. Right before the game starts, Mike passes his love ball to Scarlett, causing her to immediately recognize her husband and leave the game, as she can't experience the same thing again. Mike sees her walking away, passes his place onto his son, and goes after her. He transforms back into his adult self, tries to explain everything and how he's going to make it up to her, but is quickly silenced. And here they are in the same hallway, walking out together again. 